Hello, my name is Laura Hillman and I am presenting phase two of my problem of practice titled Music and Mathematics, a Reciprocal Relationship. Though I will briefly discuss each of the various components of the study, I will focus more on the action research methodology chosen. My researcher's perspective comes from having more than 30 years of education experience in pre-kindergarten through college. I believe this gives me a unique perspective in what students need to succeed academically. I also see the need to connect what students are learning in mathematics to what they are learning in music. And I have a desire to expand MMRR's curriculum to continue through secondary levels. The problem is that administration and teachers are seeking ways to increase knowledge retention and depth of knowledge in mathematics skills in hopes of increasing their students' assessment scores as well as their confidence in mathematics. So Music and Mathematics, a Reciprocal Relationship, seeks to bring to light practical ways that music and other classroom educators can assist their colleagues and students in learning concepts that are tied to two Oklahoma math standards, geometry and measurement, while also teaching musical concepts and objectives. There are two research questions in my study. First, how does a music curriculum that is tied to two Oklahoma standards for third grade mathematics impact student academic performance in mathematics? And second, what are the experiences of third graders and their classroom teacher in relation to MMRR's curriculum implementation? In my literature study, I am focusing on three different areas. First, the relationship between music and knowledge retention. Second, the relationship between music education and higher order thinking skills. And third, the relationship between secondary music participation and academic success. So you may have noticed that there was a gap between um, the elementary and the secondary participation. So well, my job is to fill a gap in the relationship between elementary music content and mathematics content. Blythe's Teaching for Understanding framework supports the constructivist approach taken in the MMRR study. It has four components. Generative topics that are introduced, understanding goals, performances of understanding, and last, ongoing assessments. So in the methodology, I chose to do action research, a relatively new form of research. It is mostly used by educators who desire to improve their own practices. The site that I chose was a rural elementary school in Western Oklahoma. The enrollment there has approximately 175 students in pre-K through sixth grade. Almost 75% of them are white, 14 and a half or so percent are Hispanic, and then 10 and a half or so are other. Then we have 46.7% that are considered economically disadvantaged. 18.7% of these students have disabilities, yet only 3.3% of them are English language learners. The participants I chose are the third graders and their third grade teacher. The sampling starts purposive because it's all the third graders and then from that group I will choose a random sampling of four to six students. The data collection will happen in three stages. It funnels from all the third graders to the fourth through sixth, fourth through sixth randomly selected ones. Um, in the first stage and the second stage and the third stage I'll be collecting mathematics benchmark scores. And then in stages one and three, I'll conduct semi-structured interviews. Data analysis. Benchmark data will be used to determine the two targeted math objectives. And then qualitative data analyzed will be looking for themes in students' experiences in music and mathematics courses. Ethical considerations. I will obtain prior approval from administration and the third grade teacher. 
The participants will be contacted and informed of the general purpose of the study. Acquiring assent and consent from the teacher, the children, and their parents, as well as trust and rapport, will be established and maintained throughout the study. Pseudonyms will be assigned to ensure confidentiality. And the data collected will be analyzed and reported from multiple perspectives conveying both compatible and contrary findings to the anticipated outcomes. And finally, the data and materials will be securely stored for a minimum of five years. These are my references. And thank you so much for staying to listen to my presentation. <laughs>